I would love to see BFM expand throughout the Vancouver region. We have a really intense and really awesome blogging community within the Vancouver, which um, I was a part of before BFM. And I think that there's over lots of potential there to elevate some of the smaller local blogs to become more notorious. I think that's a really great area of opportunity. I think municipal politics is a fertile ground for VFM to uh, uh, plant itself in. I, I think that any politics would be, in all honesty, but I think municipal is a good starting place. Um, you know, the amount of local detail uh, is something that isn't covered a lot in major papers, and I think that the the nuance and the attention to detail that is inherent within a VFM system um, will cause the the quality of debate, which you know, at a municipal level, I think is pretty low. Uh, to improve drastically. When you look at the mainstream media on an issue, yes. it's generally the same opinion rehashed again and again and again. You get these smaller media outlets that actually do their own investigative work and maybe present a different outlook on the story than the mainstream media does. So you get different opinions out there and you may even get more facts and in, you know, information than you do from the CBC or whoever's reporting. But beyond that, I think there's a fantastic opportunity because even in municipal elections, well, I mean, especially with municipal elections, you know, there's your local papers and TV stations, but they deal very much still with the superficial, um, with the one or two issues that everyone's talking about, and with the current scandal of the day. You know, you have alternative media out there that's talking about the issues that they care about and they have knowledge about. You have a better sense of what voters as a whole care about, and that, at the end of the day, benefits the you know, community benefits the city, benefits the election much more because you're having these alternative viewpoints come out and uh, th an actual discussion happen about things which may not be able to get on page one or three of the paper. I would say right now for voter-funded media, if you were to put it into a municipal election or perhaps something larger, the one big thing you would do, it would democratize the media. As right now, media is heavily controlled by the major newspapers, the TVs, the radio, whatever. But voter-funded media could help publicize all these different smaller outlets and exactly deter and actually show what people are saying who aren't involved at all of these giant organizations. While blogs currently are written by people who actually care, if you could use voter-funded media and aggregate all this information, it would definitely help increase the knowledge the public opinion and what the issues are for people. Yeah, I agree. I think there's an increasing trend towards people needing to be aware of their local roots. Like these days, we get a lot of news out there that's uh, that's national or worldwide, and we hear about all these things happening in the world, but we don't understand what's happening in our own neighborhoods. And that's that's I think an area where BFM, if properly executed, could be uh, could play a role in all kinds of areas. Whether it's a huge city, whether it's a small community, I think. People want to identify with their local roots, and BFM would, would be able to provide them with a way of doing that that um, I, I, any other program that I've seen hasn't been able to. What's interesting for me is that VFM may have, in fact, more potential in traditionally low engagement, low information settings. Um, and municipal politics is a natural extension in the sense that we know the voters don't have nearly the same amount of information when they go to the polls uh, in municipal elections as they do when they vote in, in a national or a provincial election. So it could possibly even shake up the system that has been in place in Vancouver for over a hundred years as we've had um, people dominating the at-large city elections. So I think it's very crucial um, that some more media outlets start to come into place in the city and start making people realize that there are a lot more viable alternatives to the status quo.